Hey everybody, how's it going? Two things I want to tell you about right now. Last weekend, we had a team get together with St. Pirin. We went out on the road to Cornwall with the elite sports exemption from uh, all the COVID restrictions that were in place at the time. That video is going to come to you on Friday or Saturday. It's quite a big video. It's going to take quite a little bit of time to compile it. I'd hope to get it out on Sunday evening. That was never going to happen. A little bit too ambitious. Coupled with the fact that I've had a bit of a problem with a hard drive. And also the second thing, look, e-bikes out and about in the Cornish countryside. Forward slash seaside. Mike is out on the road as well, making the most of British summertime and the fact that we now have a few more daylight hours. Out for a little cruise before the turbo trainer session this evening. Show you some beautiful clips. Take you on a little bit of a ride. See you in a second. So we're in a place on the Roseland. I'll show you a map from Camus in just a second, which is called Porscatho. It's just somewhere that I've not knowingly ever been to on my bike. I think I've only ever been here once before, in fact. And it seems absolutely mad that that is the case because I know it's not necessarily the clearest, most beautiful sunny day, but I think it looks absolutely stunning. Really nice, really relaxing, quiet, which is quite rare for anywhere in Cornwall these days, it seems. The roads to get here are so quiet. We've seen one or two cars and that's all it is. It's steep and it's hilly, which is ideal for the e-bike. Actually, the hillier the route for Micah, the better. But it's just so relaxing being away from traffic and the sights, the scenes. I've taken quite a few photos, so I'll try and show you those as well. It's just some of the nicest roads that I've ridden recently and it's really quite refreshing. Renewed my enthusiasm for riding on the road. So you can expect a few more road videos coming soon as well. Also joined by Luke Craddock, the, oh, yeah. the influencer. You can see him taking a picture oh, here. No. Graham. Luke. Good, good. Nice ride, nice view. Luke's more local here than I am, believe it or yeah. not. A fellow Cornishman. There's not many of us left. No. <laughs> Although you've left us, you live in Cardiff. I do, I went to Bath a few years and now, yeah, I'm in South, South Wales. It is equally as nice, but yeah, slightly different. You don't have that. There's no sea. You get sea in the South Wales though, in yeah. the South Wales, yeah. as but it's now called. Cardiff Docks is not quite <laughs> Ports Cafe. It's yeah, not. It's nice. So this is Tatum's Coffee. Yeah. I've never been there before. Luke said it's amazing. His number one coffee stop in Cornwall. Yeah. We're gonna go and rate it now. Yeah. Uh, up until this year, I'd never ridden with Luke in Cornwall. I think that's true, isn't it? We rode at Christmas. You had a great mountain bike ride. Didn't fall off much. No. We didn't, we didn't tell Luke that there was quite a nasty drop at the end of like a steep rolling. And we'd all gone down it and Luke, I think it's fair to say you're probably the least experienced like locally out oh, of yeah. all of us Never because really. we all knew the trail and we were waiting at the bottom and the noise was just <laughs> it was quite something uh, but you got up yeah. shook it off Broke. and you punctured that day as well didn't you yeah forgot my tube and it was just a day of none of us took a tube an amateur yeah, yeah it, was, it was bad proper mid proper midwinter mountain bike ride good fun though right let's go and rate your coffee uh, yeah. is that a cleat is that the front of someone's cleat It's a Shimano. It's not mine. It's not Micah's. It can only be Elliot's. Hi. How was it? Uh, we're also joined by Elliot, who you, you must have seen in videos before. Surely. Yeah, yeah I think we did when you're in the Cotswolds. How close is this camera? Are we like? <laughs> no, it's really, <laughs> is it's it? really close. Actually, it's, actually it's not until there? I get to here that your whole head's in it. Well, I'll get the glasses on. So from here, so wait. Good. Let me get the sponsors out quickly. Okay. It's brand new kit day for Elliot, so he's, quite, he's it feeling is. quite proud and smug. He's, yeah. also, he's also dressed for next month. <laughs> when the weather's warm. Uh, thank you for the coffee, Vic. That's all right. Appreciate that, mate. And thanks for joining us on a ride, Chris. Appreciate it, mate. Showing us the local roads. And this. It's mega. Elliot missed us saying it's actually Luke showing us the roads, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, mate. <laughs> you look cold, Elliot. I am. I'm... I'm <laughs> what are we? This is seated though, Chris, it doesn't count. Excuses, any excuses. It doesn't count, it doesn't count if it, unless it's uh, out the saddle. <laughs> it's left sided power as well, my right leg stronger, so. Oh, was that not just single leg sprints? Oh, yeah. That was both legs? That was both <laughs> legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was crushed even more. 
it's never a day out on the bike unless I destroy something or try to do, destroy something or something go wrong of any kind of way. So a minute ago, I decided that we'd mount this really beautifully up in here in one of these little holes. And then I was going through all the pictures and then I knocked it over the edge and the edge. Yeah. It's obviously quite a long way down, which has completely bent the little uh, pole that I like mounting it on. But unbelievably, the only thing that's happened to the GoPro, unbelievably, the only thing that happened to the GoPro was just those few scratches on the lens. And it still works perfectly well. You can't even see them in the pictures. It's definitely not designed to be thrown around like that, but it survived it. <laughs> yeah, as Luke said. <laughs> right, that's it. We made it back to Trey. Mike's e bike survived the ride. How much battery left? Are you on red? Still. still over 25 percent left elliot luke nice right. to ride with you thank you for riding that's good enjoy, enjoy that yeah mikey was dropping us up all the climbs it was terrible terrible big day <laughs> blame gareth davies for that he told her to push it on on the climbs it's in turbo mate that's what i heard boost boost of course what do they call it you used to have a polish Sweet. teammate marcin beer blocky and what does he used to say when he's going hard no zone two <laughs> oh, yeah, Zone 2 is probably like 400 watts of Marston, Probably is 400 watts of Marston. If you're not, if you're not where who Marston is, here's a picture. Thank you very much. Bye. Cheers, Luke. Great. <laughs> uh, Luke and Chris. Uh.